Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about how we can implement normal distribution in DAX. Okay, so normal distribution is part of our inferential statistics. Before moving to Power BI, we should know little bit about this normal distribution. Okay, as I have already told you that this is part of inferential statistics. In my earlier videos, we learn about descriptive statistics and this is inferential statistics. Now, what is distribution? In simple terms, a distribution is a function that represents the possible values occurrence of a variable. Okay. For example, we heard about normal distribution, students t distribution, Poisson distribution, uniform distribution, binomial distribution. Now what is normal distribution? So normal distribution is one of the most common distribution. It is known as bell curve or Gaussian distribution. Some examples of normal distributions are stock market data, some biological measures data like height, blood pressure, etc. Now for normal distribution, there are two functions. One is norm.dist and another is norm.inv. Before moving to Power BI, let us understand the syntax of this norm.dst function. It has four parameters x, min, x, what is x? The value which will be used for distribution. Mean is the distribution's mean. That means it is a average of these distributed values. Standard deviation that is also standard deviation of this distributed values and cumulative means it is a logical value true or false. If cumulative is true then normal distribution returns the cumulative distribution. If it is false then the probability density function. Okay. Now this is a norm.inv. Okay. So it has a also some basic syntax probability mean and standard deviation. Here probability is corresponding to the normal distribution and mean is the arithmetic mean of the distribution and standard deviation of this distribution. Now we are moving to Power BI. Now we are in Power BI. Let us understand how we can implement these functions. First I have created one simple table that is student score. How I have created that? I have used this generate series function where 0 to 100 I am populating the data within the data difference is 1. Let us move to use of norm dist function. You can observe I have used this student score okay then mean student score how I, I have created this and standard deviation student score. In my previous video we have already uh, know about this how we can calculate the mean value and standard deviation value. So I have used that function. Let me show you. Uh, this is a mean student score. Here I have used the average x and this all function and this, uh, this is the table and this is the student score. Okay. Let me show you the standard deviation. Here also I have used that standard stvx and p, p for population data and all function this is the student's uh, table name and this is the value okay so in this way i have created this mean and standard deviation now i am going back to this norm test okay the first is our which value we are going to distribute it student score is going to be distributed then the mean value then the standard deviation and here is the false i have used false okay it's a probability it will display in the probability distribution so here is the graph how i have prepared this graph i have just used this use norm function and student score so it is displaying the data in a normal distributed form uh, i have used this false okay so i have removed this and type true Save this function. Now we can find out how the data is distributed. So based on the true value and based on the false value, 
how this function will behave you have find out this example okay now we are going to understand how this norm inverse function is going to work for that we need some probability score uh, as this is a dummy data so what i have done i have just used this rand function rand function will provide me some random value okay which i will consider as probability score so for this function this is a probability for the probability score i have used this rand function this rand function will give me some random value okay and uh, let me show you how i have done that this is the second option uh, second parameter is mean student square and third parameter is standard deviation and you can observe this is a inverse normal uh, distribution uh, graph but here is the value you can display your value in this way and you can find out the result so in this video you get some idea about what is normal distribution and how we can use this norm dist function and norm inv function in power bi thank you thanks for watching